Welcome students to online classes of mathematics for class 8. In this video, we are going to study chapter number 9 which is Algebraic Expressions and Identities of NCRT Textbook. And this will be the session number 4 for this particular chapter. And here we will be looking at the exercise 9.4. Myself, Deepak Gautam, Digital Mathematics in Kendriya Vidyalaya Sangatam. So let's start with the today's class. Chapter number 9, Algebraic Expression and Identities total have 4 subtopics and here we will be particularly dealing with the multiplication of algebraic expression. Okay and in which we'll be looking at the multiplying a polynomial by a polynomial okay so let's start so the topic that we're going to study is multiplying a polynomial by a polynomial let's understand this with the help of an example this can be there can be a question of two types that is when a binomial is multiplied to binomial or a binomial multiplied to trinomial okay let's take a, one example of each case let's take if we have binomial 3a plus 4b multiplied to 2a plus 3b okay so we have to multiply these two binomial also if we have a let's say example we have to multiply a plus b by the trinomial that is 2a minus 3b plus c okay so here we have a binomial multiplied to binomial and in here we have a binomial multiplied to trinomial okay so the method for their multiplication is is same we are going to first multiply the first term from the first bracket to the first term from second bracket so that is our step one step two will be the first term from here will be multiplied to the second term from the second bracket okay that is our step two third step will be first term from first bracket to second term from from first bracket to the first term from second bracket so this will be our step three and our step four will be the second term from first bracket will be multiplied to the second term for from second bracket okay so this will be done in four steps so first one is this 3a multiplied to 2a 3 into 2 is 6 a into a will give us a square okay then second step is 3a multiplied to 3b that is 3 into 3 is 9 a into b is a b then we have 4b multiplied to 8a 4b into 8 uh, 4b into 2a will give us 8 a b okay in the end we have 4b multiplied to 3b 4 into 3 will be 12 b into will be b square okay now in the case of multiplying a polynomial by polynomial after doing the multiplication we will look for the like term like you can see that these two are like term that is they have the same variable a b and a b so we are going to add or subtract them in this case since, since both the term are with positive sign so we are going to add them so we'll get 6 a square plus this 9 plus 8 will be 17 a b and then we have this 12 b square so that's the solution for this question that is we have multiply a binomial by a binomial okay now next one is here we have to multiply a binomial by a trinomial okay so step here will be this will be done in six step that is this first term here a will be multiplied to the 2a here so this will be 2a into a will be 2 a square second step will be again this a will be multiplied to the second term here so that is a into minus 3 will, will give us minus 3 a b okay next is this a multiplied to the c here okay so this will give us plus a c after that the second term from the first bracket will multiply to the all the three term of second bracket okay so this b into 2 a will give us plus 2 a b now this b into the second term here that is minus 3 b square okay and the last term is this b multiplied to c is b c okay now again we'll look for the like terms or we're going to add or subtract them okay so as you can see we have only one pair of like term that is this is 3 a b minus 3 b and plus 2 a b okay so we're going to add or subtract them okay so first we'll write the square term that is 2 a square then we have this minus 3 b square after that we'll write these like term this minus 3 plus 2 will be give, will give us minus a b okay after that that will left with b c plus a c so that's the solution for this question okay this is how this is how we multiply a polynomial by a polynomial okay based on this we have exercise 9.4 now let's move to the exercise 
now this exercise 9.4 in total i have only three questions okay so we are going to complete all the equations here in this session okay so let's start with the first one first one is multiply the binomial okay so we are given pair of binomials in each question so we have to multiply them to find their product okay so let's start with the first one first one we have here is 2x plus 5 and 4x minus 3 okay so let's so let's start we have 2x plus 5 multiplied to 4x minus 3 like i told you the method is same the first term from here will be multiplied to the first term here that is will be a step one step two will be the first term from sec first bracket will be multiplied to the second term to of second bracket that will be a step three St step two okay step three now will be the second term from here will multiply to the first term from here that will give us the step three and the step four will be the second term from here will multiply to the second term here that will be our step four okay so let's start this 2a into 4x sorry 2x into 4x will give us 2 into 4 is 8 x into x will be a x square then we have this 2a multiplied to minus 3 that will be minus 6x after that this 5 will multiply to this 4x so 5 into 4 is it will give us plus 20x and this plus 5 into minus 3 will give us minus 15 okay now let's solve this what we're going to do is we'll look for the like term as we have this minus 6 x and plus 20 x so these two are the like terms so we are going to add or subtract them okay so what we have here is 8 x square this 20 plus 20 minus 6 will give us plus 14 x and we have then minus 15 so that's the answer for the part one of portion number one so it is as 9.4 okay now let's see the next one we have y minus 8 and 3 by minus 4 so let's write we have y minus 8 and it we have to multiply these two 3y minus 4 okay so let's start the first term here will be multiplied the first term here that is y in plus y into plus 3 y will be 3 y square as we know that when the variables are same variable are multiplied their power will be added okay next will be this y will be multiplied to this minus 4 so plus y into minus 4 will give us minus 4y okay then this minus 8 into plus 3 will give us minus 24y okay and in the end we have minus 8 multiplied to minus 4 will give us plus 32 okay now as we have these two like terms so we are going to add them so we have 3y square now this minus 4 and minus 24 will give us minus 28y then we have plus 32 so that's the answer for this part second okay next we have 2.5 l minus 0 0.5 m multiplied to 2.5 l plus 0 0.5 m okay again we are going to do the same thing this 2.5 into 2.5 l will give us 6.25 l square okay as we know the square of 25 is 625 okay so we have one digit here after decimal and one digit here after decimal so decimal will be after decimal we will have two digits okay so it will be 6.25 next is, is this 2.5 l will be multiplied to 0 0.5 m so this will be 2.5 into 0.5 will give us plus 1.25 lm okay after that this minus 2 point minus 0 0.5 multiply to this plus 0 0.5 l will again give us minus 1.25 lm and in there this minus 0.5 and minus plus 0 0.5 m will give us minus 0 0.25 m square okay so this will be 6.25 l square these two will be cancelled out as they are the exactly similar so what we left with minus 0 0.25 m square okay so that's the answer for the part three of question number one now see the next one next we have here is that 3a uh, a, a plus 3b multiplied to x plus 5 okay we have a plus 3b 
multiply to 5 plus x that is let's write them in multiplication form first that is 3 sorry a plus 3b multiply to x plus 5 okay let's do the multiplication a into x will give us a x a into 5 will give us 5x 3b into x will be plus 3bx and this 3b into 5 will be 15 b okay now you can see we don't have any like term that is we don't have any term with the same variable here we have ax x bx and b okay so that will be our final answer okay we are not going to do any change in this one next is we have 2 pq plus 3 q square and 3 pq minus 2 q square okay so let's start for this one we have 2 pq minus 3 sorry not minus plus 3 q square multiplied to 3 pq minus 2 q square okay let's start for this one again this 3 pq into 3 pq will give us 2 into 3 is 6 p square q square okay this 2 pq minus 3 sorry 2 pq into minus 2 q square will give us 2 into 2 will give me will give us minus 4 and this will be p q cube okay as we have 2 power of q here and 1 power of q here okay so will, it will give us q cube okay next is 3 q square multiplied to 3 p q this will give us plus 3 into 3 is 9 and then we have p q square not square cube okay again since we have 2 power of q here and 1 power of q here okay and in the last we have plus minus will become minus 3 into 2 is 6 q square into q square will give us q power 4 okay so the answer for this one is as we have these two like term so this minus 4 in and plus 9 will give us plus 5 okay so we have 6 p square q square plus 5 p q cube minus 6 q power 4 okay so that's the answer for the part 5 of question number 1 now let's move to the next one we have this 3 by 4 a square plus 3 uh, 3 by 4 I think it should be 3 be here but this is 2 by 3 okay so this one is we have 3 by 4 a square plus 3 b square and we have to multiply these two 4 into a square minus 2 by 3 b square okay so let's start first we are going to multiply these two so we'll have 3 by 4 a square plus 3 b square and this will be multiplied to the let's multiply this 4 inside the bracket so we'll have 4 a square minus 8 by 3 b cube not cube it's a square b square okay let's multiply them this 3 by 4 a square into 4 a square will give us this these two 4 will be cancelled out so we'll remain with 3 a power 4 okay then this 3 by 4 a square into minus 8 by 3 b square will give us these two 3's will be cancelled out this 8 divided by 2 will give us 2 a square b square okay next is this 3 b multiplied to 4 a will give us plus 3 b square into plus 4 a square will give us plus 12 a square b square okay next is plus 3 into minus 8 by 3 b square this will give us this 3 will be cancelled out so we'll remain with minus 8 b power 4 okay now as you can see we have these like terms so we're going to subtract these two so we have 3 a power 4 this minus 2 plus 12 will give us plus 10 a square b square then we have minus 8 b 4 okay 8 into b power 4 so that's the answer for the part sixth for question number one okay so let's now move the question number two now we have find the product of the this given polynomials okay we have to multiply binomial by by binomial in each case okay so let's start with the first one we have 5 minus 2x multiplied to 3 
plus x again the method is same this 5 will multiply to 3 will give us 15 this plus 5 into plus x will give us plus 5x this minus 2 into plus 3 will give us minus 6x and this minus 2x into x will give us minus 2x square okay now we're going to rearrange these terms so we'll write the square term first that is minus 2x square these two are like term with the same variable so this minus 6 plus 5 will give us minus x then we will have 15 so that's the answer of the part 1 of question number 2 okay in similar way next we have x plus 7y into 7x minus y okay so again let's start this x into 7x will be 7 x square x into minus y will be minus xy the 7y into 7x will be plus plus will be plus 7 into 7 is 49 xy now this plus 7xy in minus 7y will be minus 7y square okay so let's rearrange them we have this 7x square these two are like term so 48 minus 1 will be plus 48 xy then we have minus 7 y square okay so that's the answer of part second of question number two moving ahead to the next one we have a square plus b multiplied to a b square okay again this a multiplied to a square multiplied to a will give us a power 3 now this a square into b square will give us plus a square b square okay now this plus b into plus a will be plus a b okay next is b into b square will give us plus b square okay now again you can see as we don't have any like term here so that will be a final answer okay moving to the next one we have p square minus q square multiplied to 2p plus q okay again we are going to multiply this p square to 2p so it will be 2pq then you multiply this p square to q so it will be plus p square q next we'll multiply this min minus q square to this 2p this will be minus 2p q square and next will be this minus q multiplied to q is minus q cube okay again you can see that here we don't have any like term so that will be our final answer okay moving to the next question question number three this has total eight parts so let's start with the first one first we have x square minus 5 multiplied to x plus 5 plus 25 okay let's solve this again we are going to multiply the first term here to the first term here so this x square into x will give us x cube then this x square into 5 will give us plus 5 x square okay then we have this minus 5 into x will give us minus 5 x then this minus 5 into plus 5 will be minus 25 okay and we already have minus plus 25 so these two will be cancelled out so what we left with this x cube minus sorry plus 5x square minus 5x so that's our final answer now moving to the next one we have a square plus 5 multiplied to b cube plus 3 plus 5 okay so let's we'll start by multiplying the first term here to the first term here so this a square into a cube will be a square and here we have b cube is so the result is a square b cube now this a square into 3 will be plus 3 a square then this 5 into b cube will be plus 5 b cube next is 5 into 3 is 15 and then we have plus 5 so we don't have any like term here we only have these two numbers so we're going to add this 15 plus 5 will be 20 so it will be a square b cube plus 3a square plus 5b cube plus 20 okay so that's the answer of part second now moving to the next one we have t plus 5 sorry t plus s square into t square minus s so let's start again this t into t square will give us t cube now this t into minus s will be minus s t then this s square into t square will be plus s square t square and then this s square minus s will be minus s cube 
okay again we don't have any like term here so we'll that will be our final answer okay now moving to the next one we have here a plus b into c minus d plus a mi in minus b into c plus d then we have plus 2 into a c plus b d okay so let's start by multiplying to the first term from the first term here so a into c will be a c then this a into minus d will give us minus a d then we have this b into c will be plus b c then this b into minus d will be minus b d okay then this plus a into plus c will give us plus a c then this a into plus d will give us plus a d then this minus b into plus c will give us minus b c and this minus b into plus d will give us minus b d okay then we have this 2 into a c is plus twice of a c and this 2 into b d will be plus twice of b d okay now we we'll look for the like terms as you can see here we have this a c here this a c plus a c and this plus 2 a c so this will result as 4 time a c okay after that we have this minus a d and this plus a d these two will be cancelled out and we also have this plus b c and here minus b c they will also be cancelled out and what remains is this 1 time minus b d 1 time minus b d will be twice of minus b d and this will be cancelled out by the plus 2 b d okay so only terms that left is this a c plus a c plus 2 a c so the result for this one is 4 time of a c okay so that's the answer for this part 4 of question number 3 okay now moving to the next one we have x plus y into 2x plus y plus x plus 2y into x minus y so let's start by multiplying the term so this x into 2x will give us 2x square again this x into y will give us xy then this x sorry y into 2x will give us 2xy then this y into y will result as y square okay after that we have plus this x into x result as x square that x is into minus y is minus xy then this 2y into x will be twice of xy and then 2y into minus y will give us minus 2y square okay so now let's look for the like terms this this minus x which is plus xy will cancel the this minus xy okay and we are left with this is 2x square and 1x square will give us 3x square okay after that we have this 2xy and 2xy will result as plus 4xy okay then we have this x sorry y square and minus 2y square will result as minus y square okay so that's the answer for this part 5 of question number 3 okay moving to the next one we have part 6 it is x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square okay so let's start by multiplying the terms so first we'll multiply this x to the all three term here and then the y to the all three terms of second bracket okay so x here to x square will give us x cube then this x into minus x y will result as minus x square y then this x into plus y will give us plus y square will give us x y square after that we have this plus y into x square which will give us plus x square y then we have y into minus x y will give us minus x y square and we have y into plus y square will give us plus y cube okay now we we'll look for the like term as you can see here we have minus x square y and here we have plus x square y so these two terms will cancel out also here we have x plus x y square here we have minus x y square so these term will also be cancelled so what we left with only x cube plus y cube so that's the answer for the part 6 of question number 3 okay now moving to the next one we have here again we'll start by multiplying this term to the all three term in the second bracket then we'll multiply the second term to the all the term in the second bracket okay so this 1.5 x into 1.5 x will result as 2.5 Two five x square okay as the square of 15 is 225 so we have one digit after decimal here and one digit after decimal here so we'll place the decimal after two digits here okay 
then this 1.5 into 4 will result as plus 6xy and this 1.5 into 3 will result as plus 4.5x okay as 15 into 3 is 45 so this 1.5 into 3 will be 4.5 okay then we have minus 4y into plus 1.5x okay so this will be again minus 6xy okay then this minus 4y into plus 4y will give us minus 4 into 4 is 16 y into y is y square okay and this minus 4y into plus 3 will give us minus 12y okay after that we have minus 4.5x and plus 12y okay now let's look for the like term this plus xy will cancel the minus xy okay and this plus 4.5x will cancel the minus 4.5x is minus y minus 12y will cancel the these plus 12 uh, minus 12y will cancel the plus 12y okay so only terms that we left with is 2.25x square minus this 16 y square so that's the answer for the part 7 of question number 3 okay moving to the last part of question number 3 and also of this exercise we have a plus b plus c into a plus b minus c okay let's start a into a will be a square this a into b will give us plus a b this a into minus c will give us minus a c then this b into a will give us plus a b then b into b will give us plus b square then b into minus c will be minus b c okay now this c into a is plus a c this c into b is plus b c and the minus c into plus c will be minus c square okay now let's look for the like terms we have here this plus sorry minus b c this will cancel the plus b c here this minus a c will cancel the plus ac okay these two will cancel out so only thing we left with is a square plus b square and then we have this minus c square and these two plus ab and plus ab will become twice of ab okay so that's the answer for the part 8 of question number 3 of exercise 9.4 so with this we have completed all the question of exercise 9.4 and then we have concluded the exercise 9.4 okay so now you have to practice all this question multiple times so that you understand them better okay so that's all for now thanks for joining here everyone thank you